Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new, hit the subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up if you are looking forward to what is going to be the biggest colour trends for this autumn winter. And don't forget to comment down below what you're thinking you would suit, what you're going to try out. Are you already a big trend? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to know. So let's get straight into it. Trends this year have been heavily, heavily uh, impacted by what we've just gone through. The lockdowns, the isolations, people were having to box dye their hair or not have their hair coloured at all. And this has made a massive impact on people wanting trends, but not wanting trends. And that is what I'm going to talk about. Trends have been null and void this year. So when it comes to we're creeping into autumn winter, People normally go for the warmer shades, the richer shades, the darker shades. If you were blonde, us as hairdressers would be sort of recommending popping in a few low lights just to tone it down slightly as we creep into the darker months. But that is all but forgotten. Trends this year are basically do what you want. What you didn't get a chance to do while we were in lockdown for so long, do it now. And this is the thing that we're finding in salons. We find a lot of people are coming in and not really cared about the trends, the seasons, Christmas. People aren't thinking about, oh, I'll get my hair done for Christmas because all the pictures and the parties. People just want their hair doing how they want it right now. And I think that is one of the, the great things about it. That's one of the great things to come out of lockdown is that people just want their hair to look really good and not be dictated by trends or fashion houses. So yeah, we're doing a lot of it in salon at the minute and we're just making people look and feel really good. So what I'm gonna to do today is I'm just gonna take you through a few Insta posts of celebs and models that have been changing up their shades and not changing up their shades, but changing up their styles as well, just how they wanna be. Just trying something a bit new. And that's something I recommend you guys do. And head to your stylist and ask them what do they think about this or what, what. not basically not what we think. Because we're going to be talking trends, but we are going to be wanting to compliment and give you something that really suits you. So if you don't want to be a trend setter or a trend follower, but you want something that's really going to suit you, sit down with your stylist, have a good consultation, and really sort of put across what you want from your hair this coming autumn winter. But one of the biggest things that I've seen and sort of trending, but I'm not talking trends, I'm talking about what people are just wanting, is that people are wanting a lot of bleach work. They're wanting highlights, balayage, baby lights, forehead bleaches. And I think that's because of lockdown. Not You couldn't really get it. People were, were opting for the box dye and they were going darker or they were being sort of trying to play safe, but they were ending up with warm roots and hot roots and all of that, which isn't cool, isn't good. But what, it, what it's bringing us as hairdressers is that people are craving the bleach. They're craving that lightness, that brightness, and, and it's something that we, as hairdressers, absolutely love. So when it comes to a trend as such for autumn winter, I think it's going to be bleach. I think people are going to be wanting to be that little bit brighter. I had a client in yesterday. She is all black box dye, but she wanted something a bit different, and we opted for the bleach. We went for a bleach, went for a melon streak, and it just gave her a lift a bit of pop, she'd been dark for so long, we'd done balayages in the past, but her hair always lifted warm. And I used Defy Damage from Joyco to added protect, but it also helps with shifting the pH so we can lift the hair brighter. And that is exactly what we did, we lifted it, we did two lifts, we lifted it brighter, and the hair was in the best condition. She couldn't believe how good her hair condition was, still in, lifting it to a white blonde. I wish I got a picture, I don't know why I didn't, but yeah, we uh, as hairdressers sometimes just really busy and forget to take a picture. I wish I did. But the reaction from the client in, in the mirror, just touching the hair, playing with it, like opening it up, shutting it down, it was just, they're the, they're the moments that we think, ah oh, yeah, like they love it. And I think bleach is gonna be a major part for that for this year. So yeah, we're gonna be grabbing the, a lot of bleach and we're gonna be giving you guys the lighter looks for autumn winter. Whereas normally it's we, we, get, we shift to the darker tones. So the first one is Kristen Stewart. Part platinum, part red. Kristen Stewart's new bleached strawberry shade, which the actress debuted while dripping in Chanel at this season's Venice Film Festival, is something to be desired. It's something where I have been recommending 
A lot of my clients to, to sort of shift towards the peachier tones, the strawberry tones, the apricot. Apricot is one of the colours that I'm really loving at the minute and it's it's trying to get people to, to stay away from going too dark but adding that little bit of warmth as we come into these months. So yeah, apricot blondes, strawberry blondes, peaches, they're all going to be massive. Billie Eilish is another trend setter and I'm not talking about trend setting but I'm just talking about she has she has exploded with trends. I mean the green roots with the dark and black and then she, she did that whole secretive I'm going blonde but I'm not going to show anybody until I'm absolutely perfect. Blonde. Went through the shag haircut, the wolf haircut, whatever you want to call it. It has been uh, an explosion. It's made so many people want a wolf cut, shag, uh, to have either have the, the, the sort of like vivid roots with dark and still have a shag or opt for the bleach. And that is something that we're going to be seeing a lot of this autumn winter. So FKA Twigs is frequently go between reds and blondes um, when it comes to her hair colour. But this season, for fall, autumn, winter, she is going for that rooted two-tone blonde vibe. So Iris Law is a model and she has recently shaved off all her hair and uh, I think shaved head on, on some women looks absolutely unbelievable. And uh, she's just opted to go bleach blonde. So she shaved it all off, bleached it all blonde and as you can see from the picture, she looks absolutely stunning. Artist Kesh, she's often seen with, with some tight braids in her hair, but now she's opted to go for a more natural curl. And I think curls are gonna be massive as well going into next year. We're seeing a lot of perms happening in salon. But yeah, Kesh has gone for more of like a looser natural look and she's gone for blonde. And last but not least, one of the pictures that really caught my eye is Kate Mara. And she has got a stunning bob and she's just gone for that super platinum blonde, that really icy but with a lived in sort of accent to it. Not not sort of perox like the whole peroxide blonde, yellowy blonde, brassy blonde, but it's just a real lived in sort of platinum blonde. And I think when, when we talk platinum, a lot of people are thinking platinum ice. Platinum ice is, is a different colour in itself where it's like really cool and icy. Platinum is basically a white, raw blonde, but refined. And I think that's the difference when we talk platinum and we talk platinum ices and, and that sort of thing. So yeah, that caught my eye. As you can see from this picture, she looks absolutely stunning. But there are some of the biggest trends. And I know I wasn't talking trends at the beginning, but yeah, if you want to follow a trend, go bleached. If you don't want to follow a trend, go bleached because that is what it's going to be. Trends are null and void, as I said, for this season coming up. Maybe next year we'll be seeing some trends really hit the uh, the runways again, and uh, the salon floors. Balayage is still a hit, baby lights are still a hit, brunettes are still a hit, reds, vivids, everything. People are just literally going for whatever they feel they want, and they've missed out during the lockdown. So yeah, can't blame them, can't play you, play can't blame you guys um, but yeah if you like any of the trends let me know in the comments down below if you've got any trends that you think that will be happening I'd love to know in the comments down below let me know if you've enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button that big red button down there and I will see you on the next video